Middlebury School of the Environment is a very exciting new initiative of Middlebury College. It's a summer program uh, that is comprised of three courses for college credit. The courses are all oriented around different aspects of the environment, learning about the environment. But what is really unique about this program and what makes it so exciting is, is that we're embedding within the school not just information about the environment, but the skills necessary for students to learn to become leaders in the field, to do something with the information that they receive as part of their education to bring about positive change in the world. Well, the curriculum is made up of three different courses. The first two courses are ones that all students will be a part of. One is a practicum course on sustainability, and they'll actually get from the course hands-on experience in uh, working with the team, uh, developing a project that has real-world implications. The projects are done in real time with community partners on issues that are of immediate interest to those partners. And the partners are in the outside world. They're trying to bring about change themselves, either in a, at a community level or a state level or even a regional level. The other course that all students will be enrolled in is a place-based interdisciplinary course. The idea being that really to understand the environmental solutions to any location or any issue really requires lots of different perspectives. Perspectives that come from the natural sciences, the social sciences, and the arts and humanities. So we're going to be offering a course that really looks at one particular place, Lake Champlain, to understand the issues that are associated not only with how it has gotten into the environmental state that it's in today, but what are the pathways into a healthier environmental future. The third course that students will be enrolled in are all electives. They're, these are ones that uh, each faculty member is going to teach on some area of expertise. And the focus in those courses will be on the global perspective, an international focus on some issue associated with bringing about environmental change. For example, the course that I'm going to teach as an elective is on systematic conservation planning, a course that really looks at how do we go about taking information from the ecology of a landscape and the cultures that live there to create conservation solutions. So what students will get from the actual curriculum, the courses that they get credit for, is a real solid grounding in how do you look at a place, how do you, how do you address it interdisciplinarily, and how do you look at the global perspective on achieving environmental goals and to really look at it through the lens of hands-on practicality. But what we're embedding into all of this is the actual skill sets necessary to be effective leaders, communication skills, team building and team leading skills, networking skills, the skills necessary to come up with creative solutions to problems. I mean, I often tell my students that, you know, if, if this was easy, someone would have already thought of it before. What we really need in the 21st century are people who are able to and excited about thinking outside the box and finding solutions that other people have not really been able to develop and forging relationships, forging networks across cultures to bring about solutions that we've been unable to achieve before. So really what makes this program so different is that it's not just about the knowledge base and it's not just about the skills base, but it's about uniting them so that you learn a solid foundation of what the, the issues are and the perspectives are, but then you also learn what you can do with that knowledge and how you can make a change.